So these pedals on the electric e-bikes suck. I'm going to tell you why and what I'm replacing them with next on Criss Cross TV. So here's the problem with the electric pedals on both the XP and the uh, Step 3. These folding pedals, which you push in to fold, are becoming impossible to actually move. Mine gets stuck all the time. And it's hard to get them back into place. It shouldn't be that hard. And it, it, I hate this. To me, these are the worst part on the electrics overall. It's a very cheap pedal. Um, I think they're made by Wellgo. If I do my research correctly, you can get them on like AliExpress for just a couple of dollars. So I think they really skimped on these, these pedals out there. Now, in my research, I didn't find a whole lot of um, folding pedals on Amazon anyway. Uh, there's a few. Um, just not that many are made. And I'm not quite sure about the quality, of course. Um, so I'm going to replace these with these. These are Yasu Health Gear uh, mountain, uh, mountain Bike Folding Pedals. And they have a nice uh, spring action here. So basically, you, you pull on this. And you twist it. Very cool. So instead of having to push in the pedals like this one, you just pull down on this and twist the pedal into place. So I think these are going to be better um, for the electric XP. Now, <clears throat> they've got um, a sawtooth edge on these, so they should be fairly uh, sticky as far as anti slip goes. You can kind of see in there. Yeah, just look like it's got a curved shape on the end. It's a little bit longer than the um, uh, the XP uh, folding pedals. It's a little bit less wide. Um, on the uh, Amazon website, the uh, the width is listed as almost three inches. These are not three inches wide. They're like two and three quarters, maybe, uh, if that. So I'm curious to see how if you have big feet. They may not be exactly what you're looking for. But um, yeah, these are the Yasu Health Gear uh, mountain bike folding pedals in metal. Um, with, uh, well, this part's metal and this part's plastic over here. They're made of high quality aluminum, it says. Um, dimensions are size approximately. This is where they get you approximately uh, 3.9 by 2.8 by 1.2 inch. Um, not even close to that if you actually measure these. So um, there are now two things you need to remember about putting pedals on your bike. Uh, number one is there is a left and a right pedal when you buy a set of pedals like this. I'm holding the right one. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but... It's, there's an R right there, and uh, the, uh, this goes on the right side of the bike, so this will go on this side of the bike, which is the uh, drive side. Um, the left one is on that side. Yeah, so this, And the second thing you need to know about folding pedals is that they screw in differently. Um, one side screws in clockwise, the other side screws in counterclockwise. I learned that the hard way after trying to get mine off uh, the other day before I was about to test these. And so uh, we'll work you through that today on the video. You're going to need some tools for this. I've got a 6 millimeter Allen key and then a 15 millimeter wrench to get these off. Um, and let's, uh, let's get into that now. So we're going to get a 15 millimeter uh, wrench here and uh, we're going to 
take this pedal off. Uh, the uh, kind of the, uh, the nut in here has two flat sides, so get your wrench on. So it's loosened up. I'm just turning the Allen key. And the pedal is now coming out. Okay, there's the pedal. Now let's find the right pedal here. This is the right side. Screw it in. There's no Allen key on this side, so it just screws in. Tighten it up. That's pretty tight. Now just fold in half. You don't even need to click it to bring it back in place. You just turn it, and it snaps right back in place. Take a quick look at the pedal here. My cap fell off. Let's put that back on. All right, time for pedal number two. left side pedal. All right, that pedal's on. Boom. So, you know, a lot of people are putting aftermarket pedals on their bikes, kind of the mountain bike ones that don't fold. Um, that's cool. I, I, I want to keep the foldable aspect of the pedals um, since that's part of the bike's appeal. So, you know, put them on, try them out. I'll put a uh, link in the uh, description here to the uh, same pedals I got on Amazon. By the way, these are 20, uh, $27.89 on Amazon. There seem to be a couple versions of this out there. Um, even if you go on AliExpress, you probably get them cheaper. But um, yeah, it's not bad. One other note: um, there is another option if you don't want foldable pedals, which are quick, uh, quick release pedals. I know Rock Bros makes a pair of those. Um, they're a little more expensive. I think they're in the thirty-three, thirty-five dollar range. Um, so if I don't end up liking these, I may end up uh, going with those. Um, Problem with those quick release ones is that they're made for mountain bikes, so they have those kind of spikes on top of the, uh, the pedals themselves. I'm not sure how I would like those. I'm just wearing sneakers while riding, so. But uh, yeah, Yasu foldable pedals now in place. And we're gonna go hit the streets and uh, check them out. Thanks for watching, Crisscrossed. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Quick update, just took the bike around the block. Pedals work great, uh, feet didn't slip at all. And uh, I think they're gonna work out well. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time.